Hi and welcome to this quick overview video of some of the new features available in vMix 18. The first feature is activators. Activators allow you to turn on or off lights on MIDI controllers such as this Akai APC40 in response to various events in vMix. For example, if you put an input into the output and you want a light to turn on or you want a light to turn on or off when audio is muted or unmuted. There are a lot of different options to choose from, not just audio and switching, a whole lot of other options. And you can also assign uh, the activators to various faders on motorized control surfaces such as the Behringer X-Touch series. So when you move the faders up and down in the audio mixer and vMix, the controller will move up and down as well. So that's the new Activators feature in vMix 18. The next major new feature in vMix 18 is Data Sources. And Data Sources allow you to set up data from Excel, CSV, Google Sheets, RSS, Text, and XML, and have these automatically be updated in real time. And once you've added the data sources, you can then assign that data to multiple titles or one or more titles. For example, you could have a spreadsheet that somebody is maintaining with all the scores and statistics for a sporting match, and then you could have that data assigned to various title templates. You might have a title template that just shows the current score, another title that shows the statistics of the various players, and you can use data sources to do all of that at the same time. You can have multiple data sources and multiple titles and use any data from each in any fields in the titles. Uh, you can also bring in multi-row data. So you have a spreadsheet with multiple rows. You can set up shortcuts to move between those rows uh, and all your data sources, all your titles will automatically update to that row of data. And there's shortcuts available as well to move between the data in these data sources. Next in vMix 18 is some fine-tuning features in Instant Replay. Now you can assign three-digit numbers to replay events. You can play events by ID. When you play back more than one event, you can show the total duration on screen so you know how much time is remaining across all the events you've queued up for playback. Uh, and there's a couple of other features as well, such as new tabs. You know, there was four event tabs available to organize your events. Now there's eight. And there's also automatic uh, camera disconnection detection. So if you disconnect the cameras in the replay and you plug them back in again, vMix will automatically detect them and resync them into your replay production. Also in vMix 18 is a new list tab. So previous versions of vMix has the list, which allows you to add audio and video clips into a single input. But the edit list window that allows you to edit that list of video and audio was a separate window. Now it is a dockable tab in the main interface, allowing you to quickly and easily queue up videos from a list without leaving the main production window. There have also been a number of improvements to the audio functionality. Now you can assign multiple channels to a recording or to a stream and also the external output. And there's also support for, for simultaneous embedded audio channels from AJ, Blackmagic, and Magewell capture cards. There's also improvements added to the web browser input, so you can now use keyboard input through a right-click menu. Keep in mind that the keyboard input will disable keyboard shortcuts while it is active, so make sure to only enable it when you need to enter text into the keyboard window. We've also added Hitbox as a new streaming drop-down provider. Hitbox is quite popular with game streamers. And then finally, we have the new recent titles tab. So when you go to add titles and you've added custom titles, you'll now see them under the recent tab with thumbnail previews to allow you to quickly find those custom titles. So that's just some of the new features in vMix 18. We have a free 60-day trial available on our website at vMix.com. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.